every single high-end electric generator on the market today claims to be better than the competition. Is this really the case? I don't know. I'm not an electrical engineer by any stretch of the imagination, so it's very difficult for me to discern which technical specs are significant and relevant and what's just salesy fluff. I recently received a new power station called the EcoFlow Delta 1300 for testing and review. And on paper, this thing sounds absolutely amazing. Perhaps more amazing than anything that I've tested so far. I mean, check out these specs. The Delta 1300 boasts a 1300 watt hour capacity and a max output of 1800 watts. It charges extremely fast. It goes from zero to 80% in an hour from a standard wall outlet. It comes with universal solar inputs, which means that you can either power it with EcoFlow brand solar panels, or you can plug whatever panels you already have into it and it should work. It also has four regular USB ports, two of which are fast charging, two 60 watt USB-C ports, and six wall outlets on the American version and four wall outlets on the international version. This generator can also be used indoors without fear of any sort of toxic emissions. It even comes with a lifetime battery warranty. All of those things sound impressive. Am I right or am I right? But I am kind of curious to find out if this thing can actually do all of the jobs that I need it to do. So I propose that we find out together. And in this video, I want to connect a bunch of inefficient appliances up to the Delta to see how it performs. So without further ado, let's hop to it. I think that's enough. There we go. Hot coffee made exclusively from an electric battery. Who knew? Next on the agenda, let's see if this thing will power a toaster. I almost never eat bread, but today I'm going to toast some bread and take one for the team. Oh, look at that, it's turning golden brown. Let's keep going a little bit more. Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe a little overcooked, but this puppy toast bread, check it out. Mmm!
Can this thing power a Vitamix? I have no idea. Most electric generators, they can't. Um, because Vitamix blenders, they're very powerful and they require a lot of amperage to get going. For example, this is a small Vitamix blender. It's the S-Series and it requires about 8 amps to get going. So today, we're going to find out, will it blend? Moment of truth. Make sure the lid's on tight because if you don't, you're going to have smoothie all over your ceiling. I don't know guys, it looks silky smooth, look at that. Mm. It is, it is. Mm. This green bad boy is the Vitamix 7500. It's got a much bigger engine and instead of being 8 amps, it's 12 amps. So it's much bigger. And today I'm going to find out if the Delta can power the big boys. Just a few seconds ago, I chopped up some of my favorite ingredients. I have some spinach, some pear, some mango. I have strawberries, bananas, and water. Together, all these ingredients are going to make a green smoothie. I try and drink a green smoothie every single day because it's incredibly beneficial for your health. And if this sparks your interest and you want to learn more, check out my 30-day green smoothie challenge on YouTube. But I digress. Today we're testing the Delta, and that's exactly what I'm going to do now in the Big Boy Vitamix. So let's make sure that it's on. And here we go. I reckon we have another perfectly creamy smoothie on our hands. You can tell that the fans are working. I just put this baby through hell and yet within a really relatively short amount of time you can hear that the fans have now calmed down. So it took the load really well, processed it, and now it's back to normal. Cheers to that. Mmm, pretty good. Not bad, Sergey, not bad. Please, please, please don't try this at home. I don't really condone putting big electronics anywhere near a sink. The only reason I'm doing it here today is because I'm stupid and there's literally nowhere else in my tiny bathroom where it will fit. Hair dryers are notoriously inefficient and very few generators can power these things. This one seems to be doing just fine though. It kind of feels good. I should do this more often. Mm.
It drills. That's solid. Let's see if it'll sand. Thing is a beast. Look at that. Well, boys and girls, I'm thoroughly impressed. This thing powered my blenders, it ran power tools helped me blow dry my beard, it made me toast and coffee, and generally performed better than I thought it would. It's a ferocious little box. It sounded good on paper, but in practice it was even better. I'm curious to know what you think. Leave me a comment below, and that way I'll know. Of course, I'm gonna continue testing it. There will likely be more follow-up videos about this on this channel, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. The last thing that I wanna say is that the EcoFlow Delta is a relatively new product. It actually isn't out quite yet. It's set to be released in late 2019. And because of this, I'm a little reluctant to quote any prices or release dates uh, or anything of that nature because these things have a way of changing and I don't want to misinform anybody. I don't want people to be mad at me, say, oh, well, Sergey said this and in fact, it was like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link all the relevant information with links in the description below the video. That way I can update them as things get updated. And so make sure you check out the notes down there and that's how you can learn more. Thanks for watching, over and out, peace.